Well, I want to ask you about interviews. When uh, you're doing interviews, what, what's your technique? Do you talk to the players before the game? You know, you try to get certain players during the game, after the game. How's it work? Well, during the day of a game, we always have two sit-down interviews we do with players. And those are the ones we use sound bites. You don't see me in them, but we know we'll do the sound bites. And we'll, we'll collect them. So if we have LeBron tonight as a sit-down, and we have Cleveland again two weeks from now, there may be some sound bite we didn't get in tonight that is affable. Well, you know, not about the specific game, but about, you know, averaging 30 points and eight rebounds, seven assists, or, you know, about the All-Star game or about the – fact that he doesn't tire at the end of a season there'll be something so we do those two interviews and then like I always try to get here three hours before game just to see what's going on because you can you can see you know somebody's out here shooting and you can see Tyrus Thomas here even though he gets suspended it's like <laughs> you know where else would I have found Tyrus Thomas I wouldn't right. have been here three hours ahead of time so well you talk about the fact that uh, you're here normally a guy gets suspended he's not in the building the fact that you're here must be sending a message either from coach or you or somebody. What message is it that you are here, you came out and practice, you're going to be sitting on the bench? Oh, no, nah, I mean, I'm still going you know, to support my team. You know, um, I'm going to apologize to them that I'm not going to be able to help them. You know, this is an important game for us tonight as well as tomorrow. And um, But I'm going to still be here to support them. Let me know. Well, I'll have time if I do it out of the second break. If I do it out of the first break, I got billboards and all that. Well, we might as use it. I mean, yeah, I'll be cramped if I do it out of that first break. Okay. So just do it out of the second. I'll do a quick lead in. You know, you see them on the bench. So what they're doing. Okay. But that's a bet to see who could, you know, keep their beard the longest and start at the beginning of the season. And uh, we're almost towards the end of the season, and nobody had cut their beard yet. So we'll see what happens. What's the bet for? Um, it's a gentleman's bet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, appreciate it. Yeah, Good luck. No problem. Thanks. Yeah. When I go to arena, they go, who are you rooting for? And you know, you say, and I always say I'm rooting for the home team because it's not a homer because you want to root for that team for the fan. But when you do it, when the home team wins, what happens? The crowd stays. They're into it. They're going crazy. The camera angles, it's better for the cameraman. The atmosphere is better. You, the, when you're somebody on the winning team, the crowd plays off of it. Right. When you do a visiting team, you know, half the stands are gone, nobody cares, and they're, it's empty. So I think uh, the big thing is, you know, I always root for the home team to win because the crowd's better, the atmosphere's better, and the interviews are better.